Hi, this is Bill Bantuono, Editor-in-Chief of Railway Age Magazine. We are here at the Outdoor Exhibit at Railway Interchange 2015 with uh, Electromotive Diesel and Scott Swenson. Scott? Uh, yeah, hi Bill. Hi. What, uh, what do you do for, uh, for EMD? Manager in the Systems Engineering Group, responsible mm -hmm. for the product development, the design of the entire Tier 4 locomotive here. Okay. And this, this is our new uh, SD70 ACE Tier 4 product that we've uh, brought to market here in 2015. What can you tell me about this, uh, this locomotive, for example, the, uh, the power plant is, is, a, is an EMD 1010, that's new, correct? Yes, it's our own internal design, it's a 1010 engine, produces 4600 brake horsepower, 4400 traction horsepower. Okay. And what's different, how does it, uh, what's different about the 1010 as compared to the 710? Sure, you're, you're looking at this is a four-stroke engine compared to a two-stroke engine and we have a common rail fuel system that was also you know, a new feature on the locomotive. Our turbos we've designed in-house, it's our own design as well. Uh, what can you tell me about how you get to Tier 4? Any, anything you can say? The, the, the recipe is a secret, but okay, <laughs> we have a Tier 4 product. Bill, I'd like to point out just a few features on our locomotive. If you take here a look at our fabricated bogies, this is our HTCR6 bogey. Our bogies are radial. Looking down here, this is two and a half inch thick plate. This provides the stability for our bogey. We've changed the handrail design, brings the crew closer into the locomotive as they're boarding, makes ease of boarding. This is the new uh, teardrop shaped window which offers greater visibility. Bill, just uh, point out one of the visibility features, access to the doors. As I lift on the hinge down here, you pull, you can see the uh, upper hinge operate. There they're connected. We have a larger capacity in our cooling system. We've gone from two fans to three fans compared to an SD70 ACE. Down low here you can see this is our engine air inlet. These are the inertial filters. Easy access to the inlet. Two latches, quarter turn, no tools are required. Open the doors. So like ahead. I said, easy, easy access, quarter turn latches. You go ahead, open the doors, and here is your filters for the engine inlet. We've gone to all LED lighting throughout the entire locomotive, exception of the uh, cabin ditch lights. We have red lights for nighttime operation, white for daytime, also on a dimmer. These provide four times the amount of light that you have within conductor. We've added the upper console. We have more space for electronics if railways have more electronics. On the conductor's workstation over here, you can see a much larger working environment for the conductor. We've cleared the workstation completely off on the left side, brought it forward to the window. Pull open the door where the jump seat's located. Here's your battery knife switch. Right above that, here's my start switch for the locomotive. And to my right are all of the circuit breakers that are required for operation of the locomotive.